Oh, wait you watch this video on my iPod. Hello. We're um, here at... Hello, mate. Hello. We're here at Reedy Creek in El Dorado and we had some big storms. So now, she's flooded. I brought the kids up here for the weekend. It's grand final weekend this weekend. But you'll want to um, <laughs> drop a fair bit. We can't even get in there. And I didn't bring the high bank, I just bought the sluices. But I should have bought the high bank and then I could have got something done. Mm. You happy to be camping, mate? Yeah. Gonna get some gold? Yeah, we do. Yeah, gonna get some more? Maybe. Maybe. But and we're camping here for four days. Four days, yeah. You gonna use your sluice box? So, I think if you go back you can see my other video of El Dorado and it was a trickle. Now, it's a torrent. So there's even well, a bit over a foot running across the road down there. So, we came up to, we've got a prospect in Australia for them. Camping trip just downstream a bit. And just over oh, two months. So I thought I'd come up and have a look. Can't even get near the river down there. So I came up to where I camped before my crevicing video, my Anzac Day crevicing video, you can see my car park there. It was right there. But now they're five foot underwater. So we'll do a bit of video on over the next four days if if we can <laughs> get in there. I got did a bit of panning just in off the the banks. Got a little bit of flour going. I mean up here pretty hard not to get going. But I don't think these four days we're going to get real good stuff. So I'll come back tomorrow and we'll find somewhere to sluice loose in. And it's actually, it's rising, it's risen since we got here, so... Fingers crossed. It is going very fast. You better not fall in there, mate. See ya, mate. Right. Alright, say bye. Okay, we're back. Morning, Braden. <laughs> the um, I reckon it almost dropped foot, two foot overnight. Uh, the car's just over there. We've just crossed over and got this nice little overflow, Chloe! which is perfect for the sluices. Braden oh, running his. So I'm just going to work in behind these trees here, just here. You can see there's heaps of dried out spots. And we'll see how we go. I couldn't have asked for a better setup for the for the sluices. I'm not gonna classify it down, I'm just gonna shovel it in. So we'll get to it and see if we can get some nice Reedy Creek gold. Just look through that screen, mate. Look at the gold. So you can see it. What we've done is um, come back a bit, mate. Back up a bit. Just done my first run. Go up here, mate. Look through the screen. Just there. There we go. Just done the first run, and um, I'm hoping you can see the gold. Or somebody just, else here. Yeah. <coughs> and it just goes to show. No, I'm holding the camera. You are, mate. You're the cameraman. But you got to watch what you're doing. All I'm doing, give it a tip, is shoveling straight in. You can see all that gold there. It's a bit hard. The black sand here is amazing. I'll just put that. There we go. Hang on, mate. Don't touch. You just go. You go. Put your finger in the road. Oh, you got to do. Just have faith in your equipment. Like I'm shoveling straight into that. Hang on, mate. No classifying, no nothing. Because up here, it's all flower gold. So, I always reckon volume, you know, better than anything else. If you get too finicky, you may as well just stay here and shovel all day. So well, I think he should then. Do ya? I reckon you should take it easy, mate. Slow and steady. I reckon we can, I reckon we should go by now. Oh yeah, yeah. 
I've got a um, came across the river. So you can imagine every time we come across, five minutes later he wants to go back. Just stand here, mate, and you hold the camera and... Oh, look at that! Oh, that's me gold! I don't know, look, it all stayed in there. Oh, I'm very lucky. <laughs> maybe gold is mouth neck, and maybe... Well, <laughs> Dad was lucky. So you stand there and we'll show everyone how we just shove them straight into it. Can you hold the camera? And you just got to look at the screen. Move your hand, mate. Right there. Turn it sideways, mate. Right. Can you see the sluice box? Just stay on the sluice box. Yeah, I just got a hole here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And it catches it. Yeah, you, know, you, you get worried that you're going to be losing gold, but you're just not. Like when you clean out those. Top riffles it. Shock a block with the black sand. Like your gold's gonna be sinking straight away hitting that plate and dropping into your riffles. Watch where you're looking, mate. I'm gold panning as well. You're gold panning. You haven't done any gold panning. What happened when I was first here? <laughs> I mean, it depends on your area because this this is um, all sandy here and it's flower gold. I don't even bother classifying. The time it takes you to classify down each bucket and run it. I mean this is a, a bigger sluice. This is the Eureka which is built to shovel into. But I reckon even your boss and those sort of ones at El Dorado you could be shoveling straight into. It makes such a difference if you're moving big amounts of volume. Because you're camping. Especially this time of year because you can't. There's, there's no crevices. Because <laughs> you're camping. We are camping mate. So I'm actually on a, you can see a little island in the middle of the creek. Digging out, there's a nice tree there. Digging out behind it. You can see someone else's dug just there. It's looking pretty good. So we'll just be running as much material as we can. Braden's got a little grub stake down there, but why don't you use your sluice box, mate? Uh, yeah, you like using mine. You're knocking all the gold out now, mate. No more gold? There might be. Yeah, Where's your hat? Good. Yeah, whoops. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, say bye. Hooroo. Bye. <laughs> Morning. This is um, day three at El Dorado. Got a great little set up with my sluice box. Same as yesterday. You can see how much the river's dropped. I thought I'd just show you one good thing about up here. I'm, oh no, it's a big sandbar in the middle of the creek. Oh, you're right, mate. Yes, do it, do it. Just it in the river. <laughs> As you can, I hope it shows up. You can see this dry layer, and then see this rusty layer. It's red. That's got really good gold in it because that's where all your heavies, like your irons and that, are rusting out. You see how red it is compared to that other stuff. So I've been getting some pretty good gold. I'll just be shoveling straight in from here. That's good. I've been running about oh, 40 minutes. So that weather the gold will show up. So much black sand, but everyone knows about that up here. You can see the gold sitting on top there. It's actually um, been a bit chunkier in this red soil. Well, I can't see if that's showing up. But we all know she's. Oh, you can see a bit down there. See the trail forming down there. So it's good to clean it out about probably every hour. And then with the black sand, she fills up pretty quick. So we're going to do one handed. Oh. Running through beautiful. Things that. So I'm just going to follow this red streak across. And see how we go. I actually have. 
just behind me chair there is me hole from yesterday and the kids had the grub stake out and they were dicking here. Just maybe ten minutes, the three of them with their little shovels putting it through the grub stake. Then we clean it out and full of gold. So sad for them they can't pay attention for two days, so I've stolen the hole. <laughs> We'll see how we go. Well, it's grand final today. I'm trying to get some digging in before we listen to the footy. So I'll come back a bit later on with the clean up. <laughs> 